Hello everyone and happy Sunday. We are on the last day of our creation series. And I want to thank you all for tuning in with me. Um, it's really been an amazing experience and hopefully we've all learned and grown together. So, so far we have learned that God created light on day one. He called the light day and he called the darkness night. On day two, the sky was created. Because remember, the earth was completely filled with water. So God made this huge space between it. And the water below, he called the sea. And the space above, he called the sky. On day three, plants and trees were created that make their own fruit and their own seeds. The sea was officially named, and God also created dry ground, or as we know it, land. On day four, God created the sun, the moon, and the stars. And on day five, God created creatures that live in the sea, like fish, and that fly in the sky, like birds. So now we are on day six of creation. And we'll start by a Bible story, like always. And it's going to come from Genesis, the first chapter, verses 24 through 31. And Genesis chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. Let's get started. Okay. And it reads, Then God said, let the earth produce every sort of animal, each producing offspring of the same kind, livestock, small animals that scurry along the ground, and wild animals. And that is what happened. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock, and small animals, each able to produce offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make human beings in our image to be like us. They will reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, the livestock, all the wild animals on the earth, and the small animals that scurry along the ground. So God created human beings in his image, and the image he created them, male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and govern it. Reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. Then God said, Look, I've given you every seed bearing plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food. And I have given every green plant as food for all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, and the small animals that have life. And that is what happened. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. And evening passed, and morning came, marking the sixth day. Chapter 2. The creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was completed. On the seventh day, God had finished all his work of creation, so he rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy, because it was the day when he rested from all his work of creation. So, on day six, God created livestock. And these are animals that we see on farms, usually. Um, goats, pigs, cows horses, okay? He created wild animals. And these are animals that we wouldn't want as pets, such as um, tigers, lions, bears, leopards. He created small animals that walk along the ground, and these are insects. And lastly, he created us, human beings, male and female. So he has done all of these great things in six days. And now we are on our creation story, our book, and we're finished, okay? So I want to show you the finished product after you make your sixth and seventh pages. So I have 
put some holes on the side and put a ribbon to connect um, these plates. So this is our book title, God Created, and your name right there. I'm going to open the book up. And this is day one of creation. So the blank space is day, dark space is night, day and night. The second day of creation, I have drawn um, the sea, some waves, and the sky. Okay. Let's open it up. If I can open it. The third day, day of creation, I have drawn um, the sea, land, trees, okay, plants, and the sky. On the fourth day of creation, I have drawn day, the yellow part, and this is night, and I have cut out the moon and the stars for day four. Day five of creation, we, well, I have drawn um, fish, and you too, for your book, and birds. And the sixth day, what you will draw today, of your choosing. I have drawn um, grass and insects uh, for the animal that walks along the ground, a pig for the livestock, a boy and girl for the human beings, and a lion for the wild animal, and some clouds. And on the seventh day of creation, God rested. So this is our creation story. Okay, and it's definitely a keepsake for you and your family to enjoy um, over the years as time goes by, okay? And you may ask, why was this a book of paper plates? Well, the world is round, and so are these. This is why I chose paper plates <laughs> for this book. So I want to thank you again for this amazing lesson. We have learned and grown together. And I will see you next Sunday for our story on Adam and Eve. Okay? So, before we end, we should always pray. We come to you right now, dear Lord, just giving thanks. We thank you for allowing us to learn and grow, dear Lord, with one another, dear Lord. And we ask that we continue to grow in your name. And these things we ask all together and say, Amen. Have a nice day, everyone.